Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I'm going to share with you a devotion entitled, Not in Vain. Not in Vain. 1 Thessalonians 4 and verse 14 says, For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died or sleep in Jesus. A real estate developer, developer spends a year cutting the owner of a prime piece of land on which he hopes to develop a commercial shopping and retail space. Just when the owner seems ready to sell, he backs out. He changes his mind about selling the property to the developer. The developer thinks to himself, a year's work has been in vain. All my effort has led to nothing. It wasn't totally in vain, of course. The deal might, be, might still bear fruit in the future. The Apostle Paul wrote about something that might truly be in vain. That is, our hope, our faith, and our preaching of the gospel. In vain, that is, if Christ was not raised from the dead. The Christian faith stands or falls on the re resurrection. If we don't serve a living Savior, then our hope in the resurrection of the dead and eternal life is vanity, worthless, futile, and empty. Instead of a savior, we have followed only a martyr. That's how important the resurrection of Christ is to you, to me, and to the world. Today, spend time with the living savior who gave his life for you and who will come again to receive you unto himself. Remember this, the Lord whom you and I serve is a living Lord, a living Savior. He has died for your sin and my sin. He was buried and he rose again from the grave three days later. And his living Savior sitting at the right hand of the Father praying in the sin for you and I. Amen. John R. W. Stock says, Christianity is in its very essence a resurrection religion. That's who our Savior is, a living Savior. Hallelujah. God bless you and you have a great day. Father, bless your people with a great day and rejoice that Jesus Christ is alive and alive evermore. Blessings to them in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all.